Hey guys, and welcome to Simply Hike. Today we're going to be taking a look at the North Face Durango hooded fleece. Let's take a closer look, shall we? So, what you'll first off notice is obviously this isn't like your standard fleece, as I say, it's kind of a hybrid, should we say. The actual outside is a soft shell material, which is going to be great for water repellency as well, in take, as, well as taking the wind chill off. Obviously, you've got a nice hood as well. Um, but to kind of go through the key features, if we start at the top, obviously, because it's got a hood, you do have the adjuster. As I say, if you're going on a windy day up a mountainside or anything like that, you can adjust it according to that it's going to give you nice vision but yet again we can talk about that in a second you do have a really nice chest pocket as well nice and spacious um, you've got a, a mesh lining but it's actually quite a soft mesh lining so for, as I say it's going to enable breathability but as I say because it's nice and soft should we say it's going to trap the, the heat more so it's going to keep you warm as well you've got two traditional uh, hip pockets you again have the same mesh lining on the inside and the fact that you can zip it up and keep everything safe and secure as well even though it's not fully sealed the actual zip itself should we say it's protected from light rain and light wind or anything like that so it's just going to have a little bit of protection from you there let's take a look at the inside Obviously, the main zip itself, you've got that same seal on the um, outside, but you do have this storm flap on the inside as well. So, yet again, that's going to work out just reducing the wind chill going through the zip itself. On the inside, you will see the actual nice bright blue fleece layering on the inside. So, this working with the soft shell is going to keep you really nice and warm during the autumn and the winter times. Obviously, you can see the lining of the actual pockets from the in outside, but you can actually use these as, you know, should we say pockets as well on the inside. So, they're wide enough for your OS maps and anything in there. It just depends on what you actually put in that pocket there. Well, can, you know, mean what you can put actually on the inside there. That's pretty much the inside of the jacket. Now, you do have, should we say, toggle system on the bottom and that just helps draw the lower section in as well traditionally they're normally sat on this uh, on the base part here but they've just popped them there just to be that little bit different so let's take a look at the back now so it does have a slight alpine fit to it so it's lower in the bottom section there and it does slightly go inwards so it's a better fit so if you can do be doing a bit of scrambling a bit of trail running this is a really nice jacket to look in for but it's really all about the hood system itself. Even though there's no toggle system on the back there, um, it works really well, obviously using the toggles on the front at actually drawing the hood inwards, giving you a nice better shape. So even though it's not, should we say, an actual jacket or anything like that, but you, you know, it's, it's not chucking it down with rain, you just want something because it's a, you know, a light spit, should we say. Pop the hood up, pull the toggles all in the front and that will draw the hood so it'll actually fit with you. So rather than it going against you, staying very generic, if you look left and right, it will actually move with you. And then also, the toggle does work with this slight peak as well. So just drawing in will raise the front part there. So it'll give you really good vision. So you can see where you're going, you can see where you've been, and also you can turn around and see where you've, uh, where you've been as well. And as I say, it's gonna give you good peripheral vision. And so if you'd like any more information on this fleece, just visit our website, simplyhike.co.uk.